Hey guys, this is Aaron with Automated Batting Cages, and in this video, we're gonna look at how to test a machine relay. So your customer has dropped a token to start a game, the yellow and red light has come on, but the pitching machine motor will not turn on. Usually that is caused by the machine A relay located right here, and we're gonna dive in on how to test that. So what we're gonna do to test this relay is we're gonna grab our multimeter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to voltage AC, which is the V with the little squiggly line. And we're gonna set this up over here. Now to test this relay, the first thing we're gonna check for is to make sure that it is getting power. And so the number one on the circuit board always denotes the ground position for a relay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if this relay is getting voltage. So the number one position always denotes ground on these relays. And we're going to touch one test lead here and the other one to the upper right position. And it should read around 115 volts plus or minus five or so. So right now we're getting 121.3, which is perfectly fine. If you are not getting power at this position, you may have a loose screw on the relay or you may have a bad trace on the circuit board. So the next thing we're going to do is check and see if the controller, which is located up here, is sending power to the machine A relay to turn it on. So for this video, we're just going to fake it. We're going to send some voltage to the light box, and this is going to simulate a token drop. And so what we're going to do next is change the multimeter to voltage DC, which is the V with the straight line up above it. Again, we're going to use our number one as our ground. And this position on the lower left-hand side receives the signal from the controller. So right here, we should be seeing around 5 volts DC, and we're getting 4.3. So we know that the controller is actuating the relay. If you're not getting voltage there, what could be happening is we have a loose screw somewhere on the board that's not supplying the voltage down to the relay, or we could have a bad trace somewhere, or the controller itself could be bad and not outputting the voltage to the relay. So the last thing we're gonna check for here is to see if the relay is switching on once the controller sends down the five volt signal to the relay. And to do that, we're gonna change the multimeter back to voltage AC, the V with the squiggly line. Now again, we're using number one is our ground screw. So the controller sends down five volts to the lower left-hand screw, and that tells the relay to turn on. After it does that, the relay should be outputting around 115 volts AC, plus or minus five or so, to the lower right-hand side screw. And right there, we can see we're getting a little over 121 volts. So in this case, we know that this relay is functioning correctly. If you find during your testing that the machine A relay is bad, just give our parts department a call. They'll be happy to get you one on order. Thank you for watching this video on the machine A relay. Hopefully it helped you troubleshoot your issue and we'll see you on the next one.